This is a demonstration of using the Manage Switch Port Mapping tool to map a Cisco Catalyst 2950 series switch. Right here you can see that I've already preset the switch IP address in its version 1 or version 2c community name. I've also added the IP address and community name of an HP printer that's nearby. What we're going to do with these two settings is we retrieve the ARP tables from those devices. Other places we retrieve ARP tables are shown down here. I'm going to check our global settings. As you can see, there's quite a few different things that, it, that we can set here. Cancel that. I'm going to check the uh, switch settings itself. And of course, here you can set the SNMP version, then the timeout, the ports to use. Uh, most ports are 161. Then, of course, down here, different settings for the other device. And then we also, after you run a switch mapping, it saves what's called a configuration, so you don't have to re enter these values every time. So I'm going to go ahead and map the Cisco right now. And as you can see, it pulls up the information about the various ports the interface description name, the type of interface it is. And then, in this case, since I'm just demonstrating, we have only one VLAN. And right now the report has popped up, so let's go over to that. Of course, if you purchase the software, this trial version notice goes away. As you can see, the time that we mapped it, the, the version, the uh, switch IP address, the information about the switch itself, the number of interfaces that actually had something on them, spanning tree information if that's available, other known switches that it's attached to, and um, various analysis things and timing reports down here. So let's go back to the program itself and over here you can see the speed of the port, you can see the MAC addresses of devices attached, and since, like I said, we only have one uh, port being used here, we're seeing um, devices from upstream off of a different switch. So if this switch had a lot of different devices fanning out from it, you would see them down here in these other areas. So, and you can see the host names assigned with the IPs. The IPs are picked up based on the MAC address, and we have a what we call a combined ARP table here where we can store those various MAC addresses and IP address combinations. And here you can see the interface manufacturer based upon the MAC address. Now if I right click in the grid I can see the properties of the switch, various details such as the serial number, model number, contact, time since last boot. And if I wish to export this I can uh, hit export to XML. I can also search within the results, Telnet, the switch, or use your web browser to contact it or use uh, your SSH client. Of course you can print the, the information here and refresh things from the right click menu. Up here you have various other menu options. So that's how we map a Cisco Catalyst switch from the Managed Switch Port Mapping Tool.